this gospel, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is for everybody. What up, beautiful people? It's your boy Mundus, and I want to welcome you to the Shine Life family, the place where we study the scriptures. I'm back again with another beautiful daily devotional from Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris. And like we usually do, we go through the scriptures, we learn the word of God together, dissecting it, scripture by scripture, line by line, and building our faith super strong. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, make sure you stay to the end, because I want to pray with you. Don't be in a rush. You know, don't don't be just clicking through. No, no, no. I want to pray with you. So just, it's going to be a few minutes. Listen to the word of God. It's going to build your faith. And we're going to pray at the end. That's important. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're talking about the gospel is for everybody. It's for all. That's the title for today's Rhapsody. And our theme scripture is from the book of Mark, chapter 16 and verse 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. I mean, that just clarifies everything. The gospel was not chosen to a certain people only. You know, people think, oh, the gospel is only for, yeah, you need the gospel only in Africa, or oh, Europe only, or America. No, or certain groups can only receive the gospel. No, the, it's, the gospel is for everyone. Jesus said, go ye into all the world, not every part of it. Preach the gospel to every creature. That means... We need to go far and beyond. You know, there's some people that don't speak English. That's why it's important. Uh, like Rhapsody of Reality, is, I think, is, a, is available in uh, over a thousand languages. Because the predominant language of the world, I know, is English. But apparently, 20% of the world population speaks English. So it, that means 80% of the world does not speak English. So what is it going to happen? What's going to happen? They're not going to, are they going not, <laughs> are they not going to receive the gospel? So... We should not limit ourselves. The gospel was for everyone. No matter what language they speak, no matter what country they're from, no matter what, how they look, Jesus died for every human being. Anyway, let me read the first paragraph and then we can discuss this. Pastor Chris says, The gospel of Jesus is the power of God unto salvation for, for all who believe. That's in Romans chapter 1 and verse 16. In other words, the gospel is not a respecter of persons. It is it is power, its power works for all men. So if you're wondering how do I reach out to people of other races, that shouldn't be a problem. First, there's no such thing as other races. God made humans, and the gospel is for all for for all, for every human being. You know, um this is important, this is so vital. You know what I'm saying? Especially when we go, you're going out to, re, to reach out and win souls. And beyond that, you know, people, we always tend to focus on people that look like us, that we are comfortable with. So it's like a, a human bias, if I should say it like that. If you grew up in a certain neighborhood or you feel from a certain ethnic, <laughs> I just, I'm going to rephrase that because Pascal said there's no racist. If you come from a certain ethnic background, you might feel comfortable relating people that are like you. But... What you need to understand, Jesus said, go to, to all the world. And this is beyond this is beyond us using our own ability to convince people. This is not like a sales. Um, that might probably be helpful in the world. Maybe when you're trying to sell something and you need to sell it to people that relate to you, that, can get, that, can, that look like you and stuff like that, you might be able to go, go, get through. But this is different. This is you're not using your own ability. You're, this, you're working with the spirit. And the beautiful thing, the Holy Spirit made every human being. So he knows exactly what to say. And beyond that, he knows exactly what each and every individual is going through. And what word you should say. What word you should minister. So this, this should be a focus, you know what I mean? Especially when we go out to win souls. Don't just go out to people that look like you or people that you feel comfortable with. Go out and reach out to someone that you might have never reached out to. You might have never talked to because the gospel is for everyone. And that's important, right? So Pascal says, never allow the glorious gospel you have been entrusted with to be tainted with any kind of discrimination or prejudice. Oh, this is amazing. Refuse it. The word of God transcends, transcends all cultural, ethnic, and national barriers. If you minister the word of God in truth, it will break barriers, separate those separate and separate between those that are in bondage and those who really want to hear the truth truth has neither color no no borders 
truth is divine. The word of God is truth. And this is so important. You know, people talk about, oh yeah, this is a black church or this is a white church. You know, they've already divided themselves in those lines. And they're Christians. <laughs> if you notice that, it's like, oh yeah, the black church is different. There's no, there's no black church or white church. There's, a, there's the body of Christ. If we are all one body, that means we are one. Jesus is the head of this body. So there is no discrimination in church. It should not be like that. Because we discover, Jesus said, go to all the world and preach the gospel. And, and furthermore, if someone, you reach out and you preach the gospel and you become born again, when they are born again, they cease to become who they were. It says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Any man. It says, if any man. That means the gospel is for any man. Whoever accepts this, any man. Um, so this is this is so um this is so vital because it's beyond trusting our own human abilities. The spirit of God will minister to us, will minister through us. And that, that's so you know amazing. Never be selective as to whom you want to preach the gospel. In John 3 16 says, For God so loved the world. And he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus came to save the whole world, not a select few. They are hiding people in all nations and nationalities. So we must reach out to everyone, beginning with those in your immediate sphere of contact, of influence. You'll be amazed at the results the world will produce in their lives. And this shows you, this is beyond us. We're not trusting um, in our own efforts, in our own abilities to do this, to convince anyone. That's what I'm saying. Remember when Jesus actually went out and the, this, um, was that? The, the, the disciples saw Jesus when he rose from the dead, right? And he told them, go preach this gospel. But he said, don't go yet. He says, wait. That's in Acts chapter 1 verse 8. He says, do not go anywhere. He says, wait until you have been endued with power from on high. He says, wait until you receive power. This is beyond you doing it with your own effort and your own strength. If you use, it, if you use your own effort or your own strength, you might you must start you must start cl clouding your vision and your judgment and deciding i'm gonna talk to this person i'm gonna not talk to this person this person looks a little bit friendlier that person does not look little friendly maybe let me approach that person let me not approach but no if you have the spirit the spirit of god will direct you the spirit of god will move you he'll give you the right words that you should say the right words and that's important that's important Could there be those that might show resentment or display some form of prejudice and discrimination towards you as you preach to them? Probably, but never be intimidated by such people. The Apostle Paul understood this truth in Colossians chapter 3, verse 11. You live in translation, he said, In this life, it doesn't matter if you're a Jew or a Gentile, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbaric or uncivilized, slave or free. Christ is all that matters. And it lives in all of us. Refuse the worldly categorization of people according to their physical and earthly descent. The gospel is for everybody. Go out this season, reach out to everyone with the message of Christ's salvation. What a powerful message. We must preach this gospel to every creature. It says, and then the end will come. Everybody needs to hear this word. Not only the people that you grew up with or not only the people you feel comfortable with. Because this is beyond your ability. It's by the Spirit. If we had to do it by our own selves, oh God, how hard would this be? But thank God, he said, I will send you another helper that will be with you everywhere you go. The Holy Spirit. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Because we are not alone. And that's important. So I want to, let's take this prayer together. I want, you, I want you to say this after me. Dear Father, thank you for the glorious opportunities in the gospel to shine and manifest your glory to everyone irrespective of their nationality, ethnicity, culture, or ideologies. Through me, the unsaved here and receive the light of the glorious gospel and are transferred from darkness into light in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. 
you can read fathers in father studies in first corinthians chapter 12 verse 13 galatians chapter 3 27 to 28 and you can go to the whole bible in one year or two years so pick a plan that works for you wow 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 i know that was a quick and short message but it is worth repeating and understanding when we go out god wants to minister to everyone he cares for the whole world he didn't die for a select few he didn't come for the jews he came for the whole world and in fact that's what the jews thought they thought christ the messiah would come for for them but the messiah was for the whole world jesus came to die for the whole world for the whole world and the message is for the whole world don't limit this message don't put a barrier in this message and say oh i'm gonna reach out only to this kind of people no don't limit the gospel let it spread as far and wide to the whole world. And that's what it is all about. Amazing. So let me know your comments. Thank you once again for watching. Let, just make sure you let me know your comments below. What's the Spirit of God ministering to you? And while we add this, if you're not born again and you're watching this, this is your opportunity. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what what ethnic background you have or what race in culture you, 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 know, you belong to. The gospel belongs to you. And all it takes is for you to believe in your heart that Jesus died for you and God raised him from the dead and confess him to be the Lord of your life and you receive salvation. That's it. So I want to lead you into this prayer of salvation. I want you to say this after me and mean it with all your heart. Just repeat this after me. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me. And God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah forevermore. Congratulations, you're born again. It's as simple as that. So you need to subscribe to this channel because you want to learn God's word or build your faith. So welcome to the family. And just you're going to watch your life just transform from one level of glory to another. So thank you once again. Welcome. And I want to minister you. I want to pray with you if you're watching this. No matter what you're going through. No matter what the trouble is. I want to join my faith with your faith. That the power of God will come over that situation. In the mighty name of Jesus. That the Lord will grant you answers and solutions to whatever you're facing. You come out victoriously. Nothing can hinder you. Nothing can limit you. All things work out absolutely for your good, for your advantage. In the name of Jesus, you win. You're victorious in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Glory, glory, glory. Amen. Thank you once again for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you have not. Watch other videos on this channel. There's so many videos that are going to bless you tremendously in, uh, based on different topics. So just go through the different videos. They'll bless you tremendously. Thank you once again for being part of this family. I love each and every one of you. Until tomorrow, be victorious and prosperous in all you do. God bless you. Mm -hmm.